What's good, YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, ask if you please go down there, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, and hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumor Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And y'all, as you see right here on your screen, this ain't no Photoshop, this ain't no games, this ain't no gimmick. This is the prime Paul Pierce build for NBA 2K22 current gen. Now let's speak on it. Now for those that don't know about Paul Pierce or are familiar with Paul Pierce, he was part of that big three back in 2008 of Kevin Garnett, Ray Allen, and of course Paul Pierce that won the NBA championship in 2008 beating the Kobe Bryant led Lakers. And in this video, I'm going to show y'all exactly how to make this Boston Celtic all-time great. Now let's get into it. So now the first thing you want to do is make him and put him at the small forward position and give him a right-handed dominant hand because that's just what Paul Pierce was, small forward and right-handed. The jersey number doesn't really matter. I just put number 11 because I was born January 11th. Uh, and so uh, the number 11 is just my favorite number. Uh, you put whatever number you want to on your on this particular build. The, the number doesn't really matter. Now for the skill breakdown chart, you're going to want to, it's easy to want to pick the yellow and green, the, the more yellow and green, and the, the blue and green. But those are not the ones you want to pick. Those are not the pie charts you want to pick. Stay away from these pie charts from making this build. The pie chart you're going to want in the skill breakdown is the one at the very bottom, primarily playmaking play with some shooting. That's the one you're going to want right there. Now for the physical profile, I'm not going to lie. This is where it got really, really tricky. You understand what I'm saying? It got really tricky right here for the simple fact you're going to want the fastest guy, especially playing defense online with guys, you know, want to use all these different dribble moves and guys want to do all this and that. You understand what I'm saying? You want to stay in front of them. But in this case, you're not going to want to pick this pie chart at the very top because Paul Pierce was not known as an overly fast guy. He wasn't slow by any, by any stretch of the imagination, but he was primarily a bigger player. You understand what I'm saying? He wasn't anybody that was going to jump out of the gym or dunk on four or five people. He, he just wasn't that guy that was just going to beat you with 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 over athletic ability where Paul Pierce thrived was having the strength and having the skill and having the will to score the ball get his, the ability to get his own shot that's what Paul Pierce thrived you understand what I'm saying or somebody if he had a, if he had a good point guard like he did with Rondo back when they won the championship you know having that point guard that knows how to you know get the defense looking at him get the defense distracted and then hit you wide open for a shot that's Paul Pierce's game right there now you don't want to pick the first two or the bottom two the one you're going to one is the third one right in the middle uh, you don't want your vertical too high because like I said Paul Pierce wasn't overly athletic he was more strong than he was someone that was just light on his feet now for the close shot you're gonna want to max this out for your attributes driving layup you're gonna want to bring that to a 70 so max that out the driving dunk you're gonna want to put that at about a 55 because he wasn't someone that was just gonna dunk on too many people he could dunk wide open but he just wasn't someone that was just going to dunk on too many people. If he did, it was a rarity. Now, I started to put some attributes right here for standing dunk and post hook, but that wasn't it wasn't really necessary. Uh, for mid-range, you're going to uh, max out the mid, uh, mid-range shot, max out the three-point shot, max out the free throw, max out the post fade, and that'll bring you to a total of 19 shooting badges. You're going to want to max out all the shooting because that's what's what he was. Uh, pass accuracy, I started to max that out, but you want to bring that down to about a 75 Ball handling, you want to go ahead and max that out. Post control, this is a big one. You're going to want to put that at about a 70 because he could get his shot on the post as well. You look at the perimeter defense, you're going to want to max that out. Lateral quickness, max that out. The steal, you're going to want to bring that to about a 60. You understand what I'm saying? And then on the defensive rebound, you want to max that out. You look at the offensive rebound, you max that out as well and then put the rest of these points on the interior defense. Then you're going to pick the body shape of a solid Keep the height at 6'7", and you're going to want to bring the weight down to about uh, 210 pounds. Do not go to 6'8", stay at 6'7". The wingspan, bring that all the way down to 79 to bring you to an 82 three ball and give you an 80 ball handling. Now you're going to pick the shot creator takeover, press X, and there you go. Paul Pierce right there, live and in living color, in the flesh, prime Paul Pierce. Not 2008 Paul Pierce, but the Paul Pierce that was a little bit better than him that didn't have the team around him to help him win that championship. So, yeah, man, that's how you get the uh, all-time Boston Celtic great Paul Pierce, man. That's going to be the end of my video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I'll see y'all next time, man. Enjoy.